How's it going everyone? This is Jose Trujillo once again coming to you from a corner of my art studio. Thank you so much for joining me today in another one of my uh, crazy stunts. Put my glove on. Ah, the doctor is ready to operate. Cha-ching! Alright. Well guys, today I will be making another one of my awesome landscapes and I'm gonna be using my my uh, awesome palette knife so I hope you guys are ready to witness awesomeness <laughs> all right and if you're not well, well you will be either way uh, Today I wanted to uh, go again a little bit on on, uh, on being uh, not being too stingy with the paint. I know that it can be very difficult for some, you know, for some people to be like, "Oh man, why are why are you, you know, why are you using so much paint? You don't really need to use so much paint." You know what, guys? If you don't use so much paint, that's awesome. That's like your, your thing, right? With me, if I start um, looking at uh, what I'm doing and, and kind of like monitoring, you know, how much paint I use or how many brushes do I, you know, do I, do I use a month or or if I start monitoring things like that, it's uh, and of course I understand not everybody not everybody paints for for a living, right? I get that, but it's not only good for 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 uh, for me for business to not pay attention to those things because they're stoppers, right? It's also good to to uh, you become a better artist, I think. When you stop looking at, at, when you start looking at, you, you stop, I mean, sorry, looking at your artwork in that way. You know, when you stop looking at it as, as uh, see, the reason why I'm saying this, <laughs> there I go again, the reason why I'm saying this is because I hear a lot from artists. Uh, they come up with, with with all kinds of stuff, especially when you're starting out. But I I've I've heard also from, and I've done it myself. I mean, hell, I still do it, you know. But but I've heard it more than <laughs> than I've done it. <laughs> they start going into into uh, fearful rants. I I think it's fear. I mean, I know it's fear. I don't think it's fear. What else can it be? Uh, as to like, oh man. Art supplies are so expensive, and, and you hear this, you know, this kind of fear happening. Like, so, so people start going into into uh, protect mode, and if you're if you're going to do anything, you can't go uh, into into that protect mode. I guess that's what I call it. Uh, I think there's only one way to do anything, to actually do anything. And many of you may disagree, I don't know. The three people that are watching right now may disagree, <laughs> who knows. <laughs> but uh, I think that the only way to do things is, is to be on the, on the offense. It's too many of us, so many times, play on the defense all the time. And it's, it's not good when you're creating, when you're doing, when you're, when you're being productive, when you are producing something, uh, when you're moving forward, you have to be on the offense, and it's and it's uh, I think it's almost you know one of those things that oh my god it's not you know politically correct or it's not it's not zen, and I know that you guys hear me talk about like you know finding peace while you're painting and all of that yes but not here no I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I, I I think it's it's two different things. I think you could be a, a, a fierce 
peaceful uh, warrior. <laughs> I think you could be you you could be a, a a peaceful person, and or 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 working peace or whatever you know, uh, but but still being in the in the offense. I think life is to be um, attacked in a way. That's why I love that that saying that says, uh, "What is it? Seize the day." Uh, I think that saying could definitely, maybe I'm not trying to mess it up because it's a great saying, but seize every second, like seize the second, you know, because I think that that uh, we operate a lot for fear and it's so bad, it's so bad to, to, to us um, for our personal growth, for, for everything. And I experiment fear even in 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 uh, art materials. Like how crazy is that? You know, and people are like, well, you know, because they are, you know, they're just so expensive and blah blah blah. You know, but you know, it's 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 so uh, it's so relative. Like expensive to what? To what? To like a I don't know a video game a forty. Fifty dollar, I don't know, night out in uh, not, well, not even the night out. The night out is probably like two, three hundred bucks. Bucks uh, uh, to go to the movies. I don't know with your with your uh, friends or with your husband or wife or whatever. You know, some people may say, "No, that's very expensive. I wouldn't spend. I don't know. Um, I wouldn't spend 60, 70, 100 bucks on, a, on, the, on the movies. I, I'd go to the other movies, you know, to the, to the ones that are cost less or, or whatever, you know. Or, I, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's what it's worth to you. And sometimes I catch myself, guys, being like, oh, man, you know, how much, how much paint am I using? I'm always, you know, when I catch myself doing that, I already know something's wrong. It's so funny. That's, that's why I'm telling you this, because you guys maybe see me using all this paint and, and like, how many paintings does he create? How about, you know, that may be very expensive or whatever. But, uh, or time, let's not even talk about materials, let's talk about time, you know? Like, how much time do you spend painting? Or, or, uh, or I don't have enough time and, and, and the little bit of time that I have, you know, I, I want to use it wisely. You know what I think? I think there's no such thing as, as using time wisely. This is what I think. You either use it or you don't. I've barked at that tree for the longest time. And I know I'm jumping a little back and forth, but I'm an artist. I can do that, guys. <laughs> I've jumped back and forth between time management and, you know, I think it's a bunch of, uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be me, right? Because these, these are my videos. I think it's a bunch of crap. I don't think that people can manage time. I just don't think so. I think life is to be lived to the fullest. And yes, you want to spend time on those activities that are most important for you, right? But that's not time management. That's part. That's time. That's not priority. <laughs> I feel like I feel like we've been sold the idea of time management so much that we start to believe that there isn't enough time or that there isn't this is where we go right away, you know, or that or I I, I know I don't want to talk about some uh, some stuff that it's you know kind of touchy, but it's the same thing with 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 um, with the idea of of money that nobody likes to talk about, right? People are like, oh no, I don't want to talk about money. But we talk about in these ideas of shortages, and I think that, and I, I, I think, I mean, I know it's a touchy subject or whatever, but, but uh, we, we tend to look at things from this lens of, oh, it's limited, there's a limited amount of it. Well, yes, there's a limited amount of it, but not how we see it, not how the mind thinks of it. You know, it's, it's like... Yes, you will not live till you're 500 years old, you know, but, but the moment itself, 
I mean, you are so productive when you just start doing the things that, you know, e even if you're doing the wrong thing, quote unquote, not the wrong thing, but even if you're not doing the, the best uh, uh, calibrated action, you know, that's kind of what I'm talking about. Anyways, <laughs> because this is this is always uh, not always, but it comes it comes out to me. You know, it comes up it comes it comes up with me or to me, I guess. Uh, when I'm working, you know, it's like, am I using my time, you know, correctly? It, it's like, no. I, I swear, I swear to you guys, I'm I'm getting somewhere. It's just that I'm having a hard time <laughs> concentrating and. And, and talking at the same time, but I swear to you, I'm getting somewhere. Uh, the whole idea that, that, you know, we have this, this concept that we don't have enough time, or are we doing the right thing for right now? I think, and I'm going to make a whole video about this, and I swear it's not going to be as, as around the bush like right now. <laughs> but but uh, the whole idea of, of I don't have enough time and the shortage, or I don't have enough, you know, pain or I'm using too much of it, it's either not enough or you're using too much of it, which either way is a shortage, you're, you're implying that, that there's something, you know, and, and I'm not pointing fingers because I don't know who's watching, I'm talking about myself, this is, this, is, this is stuff that happens to me, right? So, what I notice is that that is the mind because the mind is trying to conserve, that's why I said you have to go on, on defense, speak, on, on, on offense, I'm sorry, because the defense is trying to conserve, you know, you're trying to, you're trying to hold back. And on offense, you're trying to capture, right? You're going after something, you're on the offensive. Uh, and when we think like that, you know, like, oh man, I don't have enough time, or, or I'm using too much pain, or am I doing the right thing right now? Is this, the, is this the right use of my time? I believe going back to the whole notion of of, um, of time management and, you know, whatever, all that stuff that I think is a bunch of BS, uh, just to sell, you know, little notebooks or whatever. I believe that whatever you're doing right now, do it with full heart, and it is the right thing to do right now. And if it's not, quote unquote, if it's not, you will move to the right thing or to the more uh, important task or to the more intelligent task. But figuring out, trying to find out whether you're doing the right thing or, for example, in my case, right, going back to my, to my first uh, part of the painting, figuring out if I should be using so much paint or this or that, that is... That, that hits me almost maybe at least, I don't know, maybe once or twice a week. It kind of visits me. Like, oh man, are you using too much pain? Be careful, because, you know. And, and then I have to remind myself, no, nope, that's not true, Jose. That's just your mind trying to conserve. Your mind's afraid. Your mind is thinking that, that there is a shortage. And if I just continue to work, it all resolves itself. I love that saying that in Mexico, there's just saying that. I'm sure it's, it's also an American saying, one way or another, it's the same, right? We're all the same people. Uh, the saying goes, eh, just know where you want to go, the rest will, will, will sort itself, right? You just, you just want to have that, you just want to have the goal in mind, right? I want to make a painting. The rest will sort itself. You know, I, I, I want to do this, not have time to do this. That's not the right way of looking at things. I want to do this, I'm going to do this. Not even I want, I'm going to do this, right? I'm going to make a painting, I'm gonna paint, a, uh, or I'm gonna dedicate time for, for whatever is important for you. Once you say, once you state that, the rest of it, even if you're doing quote unquote the wrong action, for example, here with me, the painting, even if I'm, I'm using too much paint, and I'm, and I'm feeling, oh man, I'm, I'm using too much paint, I'm kind of caking them. And, you know, and, and paint is expensive and, you know, blah, 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 blah. Even if I'm doing that, if I just keep going, all of a sudden, either my mind changes it and I realize, I'm like, oh, this is why I use a lot of paint, because, because A, B, and C. Or, 
or I get smarter, uh, smarter, quote unquote, right? Like I know what to do. Like, oh, okay, well, you don't use so much pink here, you use less pink here, blah, or blah, blah. I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> but you will know what to do is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and, and, and it's usually just, not usually, I think it's always. I have a, a, a disdain for the thinking, for the overthinking of the mind. I think it's, I think it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing that, that was given to us to have an, an analytical, you know, uh, thinking process and everything because it's, it's, it's for that. I believe that it's for that. I, and I'm not, you know, not a, I'm not a psychologist or, of course, by any means. I don't know anything about that. But through experience, through my personal life experience, I realized that the thinking mind is, uh, is a tool. And, and as a tool, it's meant to be used and put away. Because it's a tool. It is not who you are, it's a tool. So many times what happens is that we continue to use this tool even when we don't need it. We use it to create and when you use it to create, you start going into, uh, into uh, ideas of shortages because the tool is trying to protect. The mind is trying to protect either your time, your, your self-identity, your income, your, you know, if you're, if you're saying, oh, it's too expensive, it's not because you feel like, oh, it's too expensive. It's because your mind is trying to protect your wallet, right? But in creating, the mind has very little to no place. So I'll leave you guys with that. <laughs> I, hope, I hope I made any sense because I know I go around on my, on my uh, little, little rants here and there that I do. But uh, I hope you guys got some something good out of this. And if you didn't, well, I hope that you will next time. Thank you so much. Till next time. This is Jose Trujillo. I'm the world's greatest living artist. Thank you so much for watching. Kapow! See you later.